Hello everyone, this is Elakazu here again. Uh, today I'm going to review for you uh, my Mi Pad. Okay, it's just going to be a quick review. I'm going to just talk about uh, my first impressions of uh, the standard things that we do every day on our devices. Okay, first things first, uh, let's take a look at the uh, external. Uh, right in front of you is a 7.9 inch screen. Very sharp, I'm very impressed. Okay, at the top there are two holes in the screen protector. Oops, I think I just unlocked it. Uh, the hole in the middle is the um, front camera. The hole next to the Mi logo is the sensor. All right, let's take a look at the back. Okay, uh, the rear camera. You see two tiny holes here. These two tiny holes are microphone holes. So yes, uh, this comes configured with a uh, dual micro microphone configuration very nice uh, here's the Mi logo it's recessed you touch it you can feel it okay the uh, dual speaker configuration see two speaker grips all right uh, let's take a look at top earphone plug hole on this side nothing much uh, except for the uh, SD card slot okay uh, you need the ejector pin to eject and put in a SD card supports all the way up to 128 GB but I only have enough money to buy a 64 so yes there's only 64 in there uh, the data port uh, also the charging port micro USB mm, power buttons on this side together with the volume button okay now let's come back to the Mi Pad. Right, set this down. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the software. Okay, uh, this is very much uh, standard. I haven't installed much things except for Clean Master and uh, a couple of games and Evernote, which I must use. Okay, anyway, uh, this was the first thing I installed. Okay, because I need the Play Store. I have um, many uh, apps tagged to my uh, Google ID, so uh, no choice. I have to have a Play Store. And uh, standard on the uh, Mi Pad is the uh, Google Pin In uh, keyboard. Uh, it does have English functionality, but uh, I need swipe functionality, so uh, hence uh, the Google keyboard installation. Uh, you notice I haven't installed a Gmail, I haven't installed a Chrome and all this. Uh, well, um, this is my first uh, China device. That means uh, I bought it from China. So I want to experience uh, using it as close to what the guys in China are using. So I'm going to try using the apps they provide out of the box. Okay, like the email, the browser. Okay. Uh, usually on my other devices I would have of course Gmail and uh, Chrome installed but uh, this time around I'm gonna try using these two standard uh, apps shipped with me pad okay anyway um, the overall feel is very smooth okay all thanks to the uh, NVIDIA K1 chip in there Okay, you see on here is a new functionality that uh, Mi Pad, uh, Mi UI Pad has. Okay, Mi UI Pad has this thing called the widget screen. All right, on this screen you can't put any uh, icons, app icons. Okay, let me show you. All right, you see, once you're in this editing mode, okay, you can only see these two screens. Okay, that widget screen, you can't touch it. All right, so you can't put any uh, app icons in that screen okay however the widget screen is uh, pretty good in that uh, you can put all the widgets commonly used widgets that you use for example notes uh, calendar uh, calculator music player and, and and so on and so forth okay uh, you can move the tiles around of course uh, and there are of course uh, let's take a look at the widget huh? there are plenty of widgets that uh, um, the Mi Pad provides you for, for example, look at this, uh, the uh, clock, you have a 
options for different styles of clocks and so on. Uh, well, I'm not going to do anything of that sort now. Okay, uh, back to here. All right, the first thing I want to show you uh, today is the game performance of the Mi Pad. Uh, so far, I've been very impressed. Uh, let's take a look at Real Racing, which I haven't played in a long while because uh, I haven't touched my iPad in a long while. I had Real Racing on my iPad. Okay, let's take a look. Alright, uh, you will see that the graphics is really very smooth. Okay, very smooth. Okay, uh, let's look. Mm -hmm. See how smooth the graphics is? Okay, alright, let's, let's get started. Oops, sorry, wrong face. Okay, and uh, Let's go in one of the games and uh, let's race so as so that you can see more of um, the graphics performance. Okay. Alright. Okay, see how smooth the graphics is. Uh, wait, okay, the uh, assist is kind of uh, heavy handed, that's why it's uh, doing a lot of uh, breaking when I don't want it to. But uh, as you can see, the graphics is smooth and the uh, you know the general performance of the game is uh, very good okay let's get out of this okay let's get out okay i don't want to waste your time now let's take a look at uh, music and video performance all right okay go to my explorer i've loaded a couple of music and uh, videos already uh, let's start with music Okay, I'm going to hold it up because uh, the speaker grills are at the back. So if I have it lying on the table, uh, sound may be muffled. Okay, this is also one of the gripes that I have with the uh, Mi Pad. Um, the speaker grills uh, could have been better placed, uh, like the HTC's. Okay, but never mind. Uh, let's play a music and uh, see how good or bad it is. Okay. It might seem crazy what I'm about to say. So Josh is here, you can take away. Okay, as you can hear, the uh, sound is very crisp and very clear. Okay, uh, nothing blocking here. Uh, although as you as you know, uh, most uh, handheld devices have very tiny speakers. Uh, they may sound muffled, and uh, if they only have one speaker, it's very flat. But uh, this doesn't happen with the Mi Pad. Have a listen. You see, very nice and clear stereo effect coming from the uh, Mi Pad. Wonderful. I'm very very happy with uh, with the Mi Pad's. Uh, music performance so far uh, yeah like I said the only gripe being that the speakers are behind so if I do this while playing my rail racing uh, I run into the possibility of uh, muffling my uh, music because my hands would be covering the uh, Mi Pad's speaker grill but uh, that's a small problem uh, no prof no biggie okay let's take a look at the video performance Okay, let's get out. Okay, let's go over to video. I've loaded, preloaded uh, the Pacific Rim. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, okay, this is, this is a talking scene. Oh, okay. Uh, there's some action here. Alright. Uh, hmm, very dark. Nothing much for you to see. Okay. Uh, shall I make it brighter? Let's make it brighter. Okay. This is 
right there now. Mm -hmm. uh, the graphics is sharp, it's clear. Uh, mainly also because of the uh, file that you load on. Because if you load a low resolution file, uh, it's not going to play very nicely. But uh, the impressive uh, Retina standard screen that we have on a Mi Pad uh, does justice. Take a look. It's very sharp, very clear. Wonderful. Okay, let's take a look at the action scene. Okay. Alright. Okay, so far the speakers are, are good too. Okay. Uh, think about the uh, handheld devices. Okay. Size is pretty important because uh, when you look at something, you usually hold it at arm's length. And uh, if it's small, like most of our phones, uh, there may be a little bit of squinting to do. Uh, but on devices uh, 7, 8 inch, 10 inch, I think they are perfect for arm length uh, viewing uh, as I'm experiencing here. I'm holding, I'm sitting at arm's length from the video. Everything is very clear. Uh, so it's very, very uh, good experience. Alright. Unlike uh, when I try to watch a video on my mobile phone although I do have the Note 3 uh, which has a 5.5 inch screen I did experience some squinting uh, before so uh, the 7.9 inch screen here is definitely a big step up okay now uh, I think it's done for the video uh, let's take a look at the apps okay Alrighty, um, like I said, I haven't installed much. Uh, Clean Master, uh, Play Store, the games, Evernote. Uh, but I have something for you. I'm going to install Antutu. Okay. A N T U T. Okay, Antutu. Okay. Install. Accept. Alrighty. Okay, and we're done. Let's open it. Okay, initializing. Alright, uh, this uh, N22 device, <laughs> it says here you have the best device. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely pretty sure this is true. Okay, let's run a test. Okay, let's turn it around so that it looks correct. Are you ready? Let's run the test. Okay, uh, this test is going to take a little while, so uh, while it's running, uh, maybe I'm, I'll just talk about my general feel of the device. Uh, at this moment, uh, having played with it for slightly more than half a day, uh, I'm impressed with the smoothness of the uh, uh, OS, that's MIUI's credit. I'm impressed with the uh, video, the music. Uh, mainly because uh, if you look at a light price device, this is after all a three hundred dollar uh, device. Okay, there's nothing that compares to this. Okay, really nothing. I have the Nexus Seven, and the Nexus Seven uh, cost me about four hundred over dollars last year to buy, and uh, the graphics performance is nothing like like this at all. Not to say the music, because the Nexus 7 only has one speaker. Uh, so at times it sounded a little flat. Uh, definitely not like what the Mi Pad is. Okay, and um, bigger screen, retina display. Although of course the Nexus 7 has uh, quite an impressive uh, screen as well. As well. Uh, but the color, uh, so far I haven't had much chance to look at the color. Uh, because uh, I intend to do the camera review in a separate uh, video. So today I'm not going to talk about the camera or the video recording functions. Uh, but the color so far, uh, I'm quite happy with. Uh, the Nexus 7, uh, I did feel that uh, the colors at times were a little uh, not true to life. Okay, I, uh, I've 
for lack of a better term or word. Okay, um, the uh, performance, I mean the test is uh, almost ready. Okay, uh, this is the last test. Uh, as you can see, look, it's very smooth. Look at these little fishes, no jerkiness at all. Look at this character here, turning the head, walking, no jerkiness. Look at the panning, no jerkiness. Okay, this is how fast the NVIDIA uh, K1 chip is, how smooth. Okay, um, let's see. Um, okay, it's done. And whoa, 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 whoa. Did you see that? The Mi Pad's uh, benchmark. <laughs> it's head and shoulders above everything else. Look, Redmi Note, at least 25% less. No, maybe 30% less. Xiaomi 3, okay, at least 25% less. And all these very expensive uh, phones. Galaxy Note 3, Galaxy S5, uh, HTC One M8. They are all very expensive devices, costing at least uh, two and a half times more than the Mi Pad. Look at their benchmark. Okay, let's go into the details. Okay, um, yeah, pretty much uh, what I expect of the Mi Pad. Okay, graphics performance, CT, CPU performance, RAM. Okay, what's most impressive is this, 41,000, okay, uh, yeah, by the way, I'm running the developer ROM, 4711, okay, mm. alright, so, uh, this is, wow, monster, <laughs> yes, monster, I'm so happy, I have a monster at home. Okay, anyway, uh, this is it. Uh, I'm, I'm done. Okay, if you want to show people how impressive the Antutu score of the Mi Pad is, remember to show them this video from Alakazu. Okay, as a bonus, uh, I'm going to show you something else. Okay, this is, uh, oops, upside down. This is a rubber casing that I purchased from Xiaomi. Okay, and uh, this rubber casing uh, is from Xiaomi and um, it has a Mi logo. Okay, and, um, let me just try and put it in. Uh, because it's from Xiaomi, uh, it fits perfectly. Okay, I'll show you. Alright, there you have it. It fits like a guff. Okay, and uh, wait, let me just turn it off okay take a look the uh, ports speaker grills camera the two tiny microphone holes okay camera microphone holes okay they are all in perfect alignment look what's most impressive even the me logo is in perfect alignment okay the me logo on the casing and the me logo on the back of the Mi Pad. Okay, it's in perfect alignment. Okay, at the side, uh, it's, uh, the buttons are well protected. Okay, so uh, a very good buy, I would say, the rubber casing. Um, because it's rubber, if it gets dirty, uh, you can just peel it off and run it under the tap. It should get cleaned up pretty easily. Okay, um, so there you have it, my Mi Pad review. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, here's Alakazu signing off. Bye.